very important right now for you to take one second and hit that like button help push us through the youtube algorithm and then it's also equally as important to pound on that bell notification hit that bell notification and click all that way you stay up to date on all my latest videos as uh, the inflationary depression that I've been warning about opinions because you know, I am not a financial advisor. This is just my overall thesis of the market, right? And as we get into it now, you can see the XRP price is now sitting. Chances go crypto investing and in this morning update, you can see the XRP price has come down a uh, pretty good amount since the last time it came up and ran up against this upper resistance that we've been talking about up here at about the 50 cents where it starts. And you can see from its last peak, it's down about 9% and it's right at the 200 day moving average. And you can see we got supported once by it, twice by it, and now we're back here again. And if you break this 200 day moving average, right? And the volume comes back in because see how this volume in the three hours has been declining to almost nothing right there with the orange line in the middle of those candlesticks is the meaning of the volume. If when the volume, not if, but when this volume comes back in and you get a nice candlestick like in here, and if it comes in as sell pressure, it's coming right down to this 30 cent level. And that's a major support level as we reiterated multiple times in at nauseum over the last couple of months since the big June flush, I believe was, that was the May flush. Then we had the long consolidation and then the June flush right there. We've had several areas of support on the volume indicator, which is the mean of the volume in the trading. And that is where the red area is. And that's why it's been repeatedly getting supported back there. Then we had more support on the top side. Initially it got supported at the 29 and on the third cent or in three quarters cents at the bottom part of this. Then after it had its first run up, long consolidation on that critical 37 cents and got rejected again and started getting supported on the top part of this volume indicator zone at about 32 cents or just above 32 cents right and that's where this is going to come back down to what used to be major resistance would be major support now on the way back down and i expect it to actually come down here in the medium term meaning the next week or two or even day or two i think it's coming down here before it powers its way up into there that's a least likely scenario as it gets up to 68 cents as we've had major sideways trading, a virtual mountain double top or an M-ish topping reversal pattern. You can see top one, top two forms like that uh, M or double top. And then you have your neckline right there running right about the 200 day. And I think XRP is coming down here as we've been talking about at nauseum to this 37 cent level to retest the major support. Because if you broke that major support, it would bring in uh, the 18 to 20 cents end of the year target that was forecasted and put out here by this office back in 2021, about September of 2021, about 13 months ago. And that still seems to be what's eventually going to happen in the XRP price. And then there's been a lot of XRP news recently. If we go into here, scroll down into the news section, you can see ripple welcomes new wave of nft creations to launch projects on xrp ledger right xrp 250 million dollar fund backs web3 projects focused on entertainment and media ripple next two weeks critical as xls 20 uh, amendment for native nft support opening for voting but let's go take a look at this 250 million dollar fund backs web3 project in september 2021 enterprise blockchain and crypto solutions company ripple launched the ripple creation fund a 250 million dollar innovation committed to providing creating creators with financial creative and technical support needed to create non-fungible tokens nfts and other tokenization projects on the xrp ledger right on october 18th Ripple disclosed the second wave of creation to receive funding for their NFT projects through Ripple's creation fund, creator fund. This round of funding was awarded to independent creator focused on building functional use case in gaming and metaverse, as well as music and media on the XRP ledger. This round of recipients include companies like Nine Level Nine uh, Productions, Anify Capital Block, NFT avatar maker nft master sy fr projects and thinking crypto speaking 
with Coin Telegraph uh, Marcus in finger vice president of ripple x growth shares that ripple chose projects that brought life to tokenization use case in particular projects that provide functional utilities such as access rights uh ticketing and uh blah blah, blah. ripple looked for ideas teams and visions that best align with bringing innovation and creativity to NFTs that go beyond digital art, right? And that's critical because NFTs and digital art is, in my mind, sort of nonsense, but some people have been able to make some phenomenal money on it, so I'm all for that. But you need to have more entertainment and media and stuff uh, that it works through than just the NFTs. Uh, Ripple is investing $250 million, right? It's just rehashing the same thing. So that's a pretty big thing. He said Ripple has taken a non-smart contract needed approach to make it easier and faster for any developer to access all essential NFT functionalities native on the XRP ledger through basic API calls, including minting, burning, exchanging, and assigning royalties. Ripple hopes to position the XRP Ledger as a primary platform for minting and managing NFTs and a place where creators and developers can continue to explore utility and NFTs through use case such as asset ownership and interactive experience that will help bring about a tokenized future Interest in Ripple Creator Fund comes around the same time that company is engaging in legal battle with the United States SEC Security and Exchange Commission. On September 29th, Cointelegraph reported that Ripple Labs has scored a victory in continuing legal battle with the SEC after U.S. District Court Judge and Alyssa Torres ordered the names order the release of the documents written by former SEC uh, Financial Division Director William Hitman, otherwise known as the Hinman documents. Documents relate uh, predominantly to speech Hitman delivered at the Yahoo Finance All Market Summit in June of 2018, right? So this is very important stuff, and this is some very important news and uh, business that XRP is engaging in trying to win a legal battle while also trying to position themselves for the future uh, with their NFTs and their funding and their future adventures that they would like to be at. So that's very important. Then if we take a look at the old X, the Bitcoin price, it's still in the same area. So this is going to be a quick wrap up uh, with the Bitcoin price because it's the same thing we've been talking about during this whole thing. Each uh, it's just always the same thing. We're still at this 19,299.31. And if we break that, as you know, we come down to 16,658.11. If we get some buyers to come in, your first major upper resistance is getting up here near this 24,837.74, right? And then we know if we break this 16,000 and change, we would come to the next level to the downside, which is a pretty big fall to the downside which would come all the way down here to this 13,336 Bitcoin price prediction that we made when the price of Bitcoin was at 63,336 and rising. And I do think this is coming down here before the end of the year. And we're just going to have to wait to see when this next major move happens, when it finally decides to get out of this area that it's been in for quite some time, where if we look out a little bit farther, zoom out to the four hour time frame, you can see we're holding after the great June flush come up. We're trying to hold this double bottom. See it? You can see it when you straight the picture out. It's trying to hold this double bottom, but if it fails to hold, we come straight down to that $16,000 level, right? And then if we look at the Dogecoin, everybody loves the Dogecoin, or they used to with the Elon Musk. That, those are fun times. I had so much fun covering this, but I think the XR or the Dogecoin is coming down here, much like the Bitcoin price. We came down after the great June dump, came back up, and now it looks like we're going to come down to another double bottom at the, just below the five cent level, right about five cents, or just slightly below, just like we had right here, right? See all that? 
just like we had right there. We're gonna come down and do the same thing over here and then it forms the same little uh, chair pattern where you have the back of a chair right here and then you have the seat, right? Forms kind of like a fucking upside down cup and handle, right? And then that would be a bearish scenario if you couldn't hold this and you'd come to the next leg down which the next leg down is actually a very, 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 very steep decline. But we're going to keep an eye on that as you have, like yesterday we were talking about the seven cents is major upper resistance and this just below five cents is major lower support. And that is actually where old Vincenzo is forecasting the price to come first. I expect it to come down here first before it goes there. Down here first before it goes there. That's just what I think at this time in the current projections of the dogecoin right and then if we looked at agix it had that huge pump a few days ago but you can see it sold off as forecasted it came up and just touched the bottom part of this blue resistance zone that we had up there at about 12 ish cents right there about 13 just below 14 cents and then it quickly got rejected and like we were talking about when we were asked should you jump in up there i said it's very risky because you either got to be quick draw McGraw on the trigger sell finger because this is what was going to eventually come back down. This was a major resistance area. We forecasted something like that to happen. And you can see it did exactly that. Came down to the 200 just above a major support level at the five and a half cents ish or just below. But hit the 200 day and now we're getting a little bounce. And you could expect the bounce could even come all the way up to a massive double top. Or it could come up to a classic bear trap. Or it could just get rejected where it's at now and it heads down to the three cent level. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace and love.